Bhatt from Shirali. Today I am going to make Masale Da Stuffed Banana Puri. For this recipe we mainly use bananas and curds. And for stuffing we use the potato and paneer mixture. Let's start. First, let's take one fourth cup of curd. For that, add three fourth, one fourth cup of butter. This is unsalted butter. For this, add two number of bananas. and half a cup of gur this is a solid jaggery you can use even liquid ones now add salt to taste then one teaspoon of jeera that is cumin seeds Mix all this material, all these ingredients together. Without forming mm. the mixture of curd, jaggery, and uh, banana has become like this. It must be very, very fluffy and. Uh, thick ones it should not be like watery now add two pinch of baking soda mix it well now it's about two two and half to three cups of maida to make a dough the dough must not be very hard or very soft it must be see after adding two two and half to three cups of maida the dough has become like this it is like a chapati dough not very hard This dough must be fermented at least 8 hours. In cold region it must be near 12 hours. So let's cover the dough and keep it for fermentation. We can also use wheat flour for this recipe. Heat oil in a kadai. This one is for stuffing. This banana spoon of oil. When the oil is hot, put a teaspoon of mustard seeds. When the mustard seeds crackle, add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Now add Five to six curry leaves, two number of green chilies, half teaspoon of grated ginger, five to six numbers of cashew, roasted rice leaves. This potato is boiled. And mash very well for the stuffing. Even this paneer is grated. Now we will put it. Now add salt. 
as per your taste and lastly sprinkle some coriander leaves let the dough for 10 hours because the weather is cold here the dough like this roll it like puris this is the stuffing which we made stuff this thing into the dough and close it like this again dust it with some flour and roll it down I have already made two puris. Now let's fry it. The oil is hot enough to lift it. Now, the dish is ready to serve.